Okay, so uh, welcome back to a new video here. This video is also going to be a CNC video, as uh, you all know by the topic of this video. However, uh, it's been happening a lot here since uh, the last video. Only it's been uh, only a kind of like a week or so in between the videos. Uh, what's been going on here is actually I finished up the electronics with uh, uh, for the CNC, and I also well. Let's just stop talk and just grab the camera and we're gonna take a look on what's been happening here. So this is the, what it's looking like right now. Um, I think this is uh, pretty damn good I must say. Uh, what I did actually that I built this uh, kind of furniture here. Well furniture you can call it whatever you want. It's uh, just uh, some piece of wood to have my uh, this um, LCD screen on there, keyboard, down here I got my computer and uh, there's some wires going down there. Um, what did I do on the machine itself? Well, uh, I did finish uh, off some uh, cables here to get it, uh, you know, uh, get it to look a little bit better actually. I did not hook up these uh, limit switches yet but I will do I will do uh, what else did I do here well I did some cable work here as well um, I, I finished up the cables here so it's looking nice and clean everything and um, uh, you know um, I hooked up some electronics uh, uh, to the computer and as you can see here I got the Linux uh, CNC all ready to go here uh, it's working perfectly, for perfectly fine. Um, also, where is the electronics box for for um, for the CNC machine? Well, down there. That's the electronics box. Uh, I placed it under here because I think it's a great place to have this kind of chassis right here. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. Everything is hooked, hooked up there. I got the, um, the parallel port cable right there. Uh, everything is hooked up to the computer down here actually. So that's pretty much what it is. Um, I put this uh, wasteboard on here. This is just temporary because uh, this is not the very best type of wood here, but I will use this one for now. Um, basically, what's left doing here um, is actually put the spindle on, on the axle here, on the, this axis here. So I'm about to go ahead and build uh, kind of like a bracket to put on here, maybe out of wood or something, I'm not sure yet. So I will fasten the bracket here so that I can just uh, put in this uh, spindle right there. And then I think I'm pretty much ready to go actually. So I'm very happy with this build actually. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it looks pretty damn good I must say. And yeah of course it is working. Yeah, it's working just perfect uh, when jogging in the in the Linux CNC right there. So, um, what's gonna happen now is actually uh, put on the spindle on there, as I said. Uh, also, I need to fasten the wasteboard. So, and uh, I know, I know, this wasteboard will not maybe be 100% in level. But you know, this is just temporary until I, I get a good piece of material to put on here. As you can see, this is two pieces right here and that is not good. So this is, uh, you know, just temporarily. 
So I'm, I'm uh, gonna go ahead and buy a, a whole piece uh, great material to put on there. So I think it's looking pretty damn good I must say. Um, looking nice and clean. Yeah, that's what it is. Everything is hooked up and working. Something that irritates me is this right here. I want it to look like that. I don't know why, but you know. Yeah, so um, setting up uh, Linux was not very hard task to do because um, I already had the basic configurations on there. However, uh, I did a latency test on this computer and this computer is not very good for this type of uh, for Linux. How well it does work? Yeah, it does work with the machine, but uh, for more kind of like uh, high performance uh, 3D machining, uh, this computer is not good. That's for sure. So, uh, but but you know, for now, for just testing this machine out. I will use this computer down here and I have everything set up here to pretty much uh, go actually that's pretty much what it is and uh, the construction of this machine uh, I don't know if you've been watching my build series video uh, video series of this machine but uh, it's a um, you know it's a, it's a belt driven machine got some uh, uh, bearings right here uh, you know, this is pretty much what uh, they all look like um, when it comes to this type of machine actually. We got the X-Car for example and the Shapeoko and you know, um, they are all looking pretty much similar to this one. However, uh, this is a, a raw 1.5 uh, CNC so that's the difference. The working area of this machine is uh, 750 by 750 millimeters. Uh, actually, uh, in this direction, it's not actually uh, 750 because I chosen to put this uh, belt, uh, uh, sorry, this cable thing uh, on the inside instead of the out outside. So I guess I'm losing about a, a good four cent, uh, four, 40 millimeters. So other than that, I think it's a great working working area here. So, uh, you know, you could actually uh, uh, wrote out some guitar bodies with this machine. So, um, that's it guys. Um, a short video update about my CNC machine. Um, I will be back with another video about this machine in a very short period of time, I believe, because this machine is almost ready for test routing its first uh, very first uh, um, route so I will be back in a short period of time uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, if you have any questions about this machine or um, you know anything about this just uh, leave a comment down below here if you're not a subscriber I would be very happy if you go ahead and uh, uh, click that subscribe button and of course you will get uh, uh, notified notifications wherever I'm uploading a video or, or some content of some kind so that would be great of course however uh, until next time take care now bye bye then